Hi everyone, welcome on board to Hopper.tv. Everywhere they boil, everywhere they boil. People are no longer interested in APC. Anything attached to Buhari is failure. Anything attached to Buhari is calamity. Anything attached to Buhari is nepotism. Anything attached to Buhari is wickedness, corruption, just name it. This is all people are saying. You know that Tinumbu is attached to Buhari or what else can we say here? People are upset, they are angry. You can see there is commotion, riot everywhere. Tinumbu's poster is being torn. That is because people are looking for the next person that will take them to El Dorado. They are looking for that Messiah, that Savior that will take them to the place of promise, place of comfort. They have looked at the three trio. We know that other contestants, candidates are there. Uh, we, we know, we know Kwan Kwaso is there. He has a strong following in that south, northeast. We know that Shawore is there. He has following with himself and his family. Uh, nobody is speaking about Shawore right now. But let us look at them. Not from, you know, I'm not kind of arranging them from the point of importance. Let us look at Tinumbu, Atiku, and Labour Party, Peter Obi. These are the three contestants. They say we should throw away Atiku from there. That it is between Tinumbu and who? Labour Party, Peter Obi. Now, when we checked, they said that Peter Obi is the lesser evil, lesser devil. Now, the argument that has been brought forward is this. Are you saying someone who is a thief in his village, and you know villages don't have a lot, you, you won't find expensive electronics to steal in villages. What you have around you is what you steal. Either you go to people's farm, you steal. You go to people's home, you steal. And, you know, maybe small stores in your villages, you see? But if you are in a city and you're a thief, you have more to steal, more expensive to steal, more expensive items to steal. You have variety of things to put your fingers into. They are saying, is that not the difference between Peter Obi, an Ambra State Governor, Tinumbu, Lagos State Governor, and Atiku, Vice President, and of course, Head of Customs in those years. They said, so the difference is clear. How big your pot is will determine how much you want to take or cook from it. They said that Peter will be held an Ambra State at the, at the jugular vein. They said he kept saying he saved, he saved. Whereas he took majority of cash hidden in Panama. Now, for people who do not understand, Panama is a safe haven. It's where criminals keep their money. That is where Peter Obi kept it so that you will not know. If that story did not bust out, no one will know that Peter will be healed. I'm sorry, held. Huge amount of money somewhere. And that is the only one that has been found. So they said, is Peter will be a lesser criminal, lesser evil, or is just smart? Now, like I said, if Peter Obi was governor of Lagos State, and Lagos is what Lagos is as it is that we know with the package that Lagos runs on, do you think Peter Obi would have performed the way he would have done in Anambra State? Anambra is a hub where a lot of things are supposed to happen. Peter Obi would have done much more. That's what people are saying. Now, let us go to the person in the title of this video, Tinumbu, Tinumbu, I said that anything attached to Buari, people do not want to hear about it anymore. Although they have their own fans, people that are paid, people who are still in support of Tinumbu, people who think Tinumbu will take them there, people who are partisan and people who are tribalistic. They have them who are in support of various people like Tinumbu. Well, now I want to throw it out to you. With all of this agitation and struggling and confusion, of course, scarcity of fuel because there is no money in circulation, two trillion was mopped by the central bank policy and initiative. Two trillion naira has been taken off of the old currency, and 300, 300 billion has been released into the states, banks. But people cannot have access to it because it is not enough. And secondly, most of this money are being ordered by the banks. Now, with all of this tension, people are hungry. So, don't you think that the same thing that happened 
like the NSAS, might happen again. Tinubu's poster is being torn. Torn by who? Is it by Peter Obi's uh, boys or people who are loyal to him or people who are angry? They see Tinubu, they see Buhari. It's as simple as that. We cannot take that excellence from Tinubu. Tinubu is excellent. He knows how to pinpoint whatever he needs to pinpoint for his political ambition. He knows that as he is a strategist. He is an intelligent person. The Lagos that many people are benefiting from, for those who live in Lagos, Tinubu also worked on it to make it that way compared to other states. But then people are saying, Tinubu, you are tired. And moreover, you are, in fact, you are the one. Not because he's the only one anyway. We know how Tinubu, um, what Tinubu did, yeah, how he supported. He said it himself, how Mr. Buari walked down to him and said, you have done this for a lot of people. Come and do it for me also. And he did it and it worked. Now that it's time for him to get the same support. We are hearing from different corners that certain people are working against him. Tinubu is not new to this type of conspiracy, but this is the biggest of it. Moreover, his health is dwindling, and I think that is one of the reasons why people are talking and uh, they are saying, look, we want out. We don't want any of this. The reason why people will be complaining about the health of Tinubu or any presidential candidate is because we do not have that system, a robust system, strong system, powerful system. Let us take the United States for example. Their president is feeble. He's feeble. He's not strong. Not because he does not eat. He's old. Look at his age. He's old. He comes with these balabulu things once in a while too. At times he forgets himself because he's old. He's no longer active again. The cells in his brain is not as active as it would have been unless he's just that kind of person who, you know, has some intellectual, a little bit of some disability, but still intellectually um, okay. Unless he's that kind of person when you know back in those years but look at him he's still able to be president of america because there is a system that works a robust system that can put things together you see that it that is what it is it's not just president president but in africa it's different president is everything president can step in scatter everywhere president can come in and do and undo we don't have a system that can vomit a president in the first time or which president have you seen that will be easily pushed out in this first year or second year or during the election like what happened to Donald Trump and uh, how they kicked him out. So that is why people are panicking. They are not sure. Are these people not the same type of people that will come out and care less when um, uh, protesters came out and they were killed? Is this type of person that wants to be president? People are worried. People are still looking. Hatiku, articulated thief. Ah, they now looked again and turn around and sip it up. They say, ah, he said he saved, he saved, he saved. It's safe because you will never know. Why? The money he took, the money he stole, the money he diverted for himself, his family money, whatever kind of money, you will not find it in Nigeria. He made the money in Nigeria. He quickly took the money. He didn't take the money to Barclays Bank, HSBC. How dare in Europe, America, Canada, where you will see that Peter Obi's account is here. Peter Obi did what criminals do, what drug barons do, what criminal politicians, business ent entities that don't want you to track their money. What they do is to put their money in those Caribbean countries. That is what people should learn and understand. Peter Obi did not get enough as he would have gotten if he was governor of Lagos State or like Atiku, but he did get what he needed to get. He kept it where no one will ever know. This is Peter Obi. Well, it is not your choice. It's not allow, uh, only, uh, only about cheering, pulling down this. And I know people are hungry and they have no option. It's like there is no choice. Why don't you look at other candidates? That's a question I'm asking. Why don't you look at other candidates? Why don't you look at other candidates? Why must it be these three? Well, as politics is politics as it is, people still want to move and turn around the politicians that they think are lesser evil. That is why people are angry, cheering this and that, as if, if Peter will become sin. Don't forget that whatever age you are now, had eight years to it, you might be dead, you might be an older person, you might have grown from being a teenage person to a grown-up adult in the next eight years. Eight years is very important. Let us think wisely. Should we break Nigeria apart? Instead, let Peter Obi go and be president of Igbo Nation. Let Atiku go and be president of Fulani uh, Emirate. Let Tinubu come. Let's deal with him. What have you taken? Now, bring all what you have taken. Come and use it to develop first. Then we will consider if, if, if 
That's just it. What are your thoughts? Do not forget to like and share this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thanks for stopping by. I say a very big thank you to those who have taken time to subscribe to this channel. And if you're yet to subscribe, kindly tap on that subscription button and also the red bell icon so you will be notified whenever videos such as this are uploaded.